Well, the scene is still very active. You see there's plenty of FDNY here, the NYPD on scene, and definitely Con Ed vehicles uh, from some business owners nearby. We have heard this could be natural gas related, but that is still not determined fully at this point. Another thing going on right now is, look over there. This is Queens Boulevard, the busiest thoroughfare in central Queens. Half the lanes are still shut down while investigators and firef uh, firefighters continue to do their work. And even though that's an inconvenience here at the height of rush hour, it is definitely an improvement over what we saw in the early morning hours and a very dangerous situation. The flames alone show just how big this fire was after it broke out around 2.14 a.m., but as it continued to grow and intensify, the effect was even more dangerous. FDNY supervisors said that explosion was caused by a possible backdraft, a situation where fire and smoke removes all oxygen, and suddenly, when oxygen somehow gets reintroduced, there's that explosion. The explosion and an accompanying roof collapse are responsible for the seven firefighter injuries on scene. This is that same scene we recorded this afternoon. There was still smoke rising from the scene in which six businesses were totaled. Right next to the devastation is Gabby Goldstein's apartment. I heard the explosion, I felt the explosion, and it was terrifying, and so we... <laughs> <laughs> we left. We evacuated at that point, of course. She was allowed back into her apartment to get belongings, but won't be able to stay there until tomorrow, probably, even though everything's intact. The same can't be said for the restaurants and other businesses here, one of which opened just a couple months ago, and another of which was renovated fairly recently. We're a small community. This has a huge impact. Obviously, it is awful, but some people around here are breathing a sigh of relief. The main thing is nobody getting hurt. That's my main thing. That's it. Nobody getting killed. Families. And when you consider how extensive this damage is, you can certainly understand why he and plenty of people around here are feeling a sense of relief. Uh, we are told there are 12 people injured, seven of whom are firefighters, five of whom are civilians, but none of those injuries is serious. This scene expected to stay here, stay active for quite a few more hours, something to keep in mind as the evening rush continues.